Hello, welcome to Cabbage Patch Soap. I am so glad you're here. My name is Laura, and today I will be making Cherry Blossom Sea Salt Bars. These are the colors here I'll be using, and I will be using this Japanese Cherry Blossom Fragrance. I have the pink divided into two sections, one with some titanium dioxide to make a lighter color that I'll be mixing in later. The pink is Oleander Pink, and the green on top for the drizzle is called Synergy. Up there you can also see I have a large cup full of sea salt, and I am wearing different gloves this time as well. It's because of the high humidity, the other gloves I usually wear would not pull on my hands because it was too humid. So I am using some different gloves. Here I'm pouring the lye water into the oils. The oils I'm using are all vegan. And I'm just going to stick blend this together a little bit. I'm looking for an emulsion eventually. Here's a fragrance oil going in. It does have floral notes, so I was expecting this to accelerate a little bit more than it did. But I wanted to make sure that it was well incorporated. It's taking a while to get to emulsion, but this is good enough. It seemed to be holding together when I checked it last. So I'm just going to divide this up into two. And this is the pink mixed with the white. It comes out very, very pale. The oleander pink is very pale to begin with. It takes quite a bit to show up in the soaps but I didn't want a pure white. I wanted it to have a pink tint and I will be mixing, mixing it in with the uh, pink section when I pour it into the mold. So that's the pink mixed in. And it's still fairly fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this so salt. This is just sea salt. And I decided to not risk any acceleration. I mixed in the salt by hand with a whisk. And I'm first going to pour some pink by itself into the mold. And then for the swirls, I'm just going to add the white into the pink and mix it up to make it a slightly lighter color. And I'm just going to do kind of a drop swirl. I'm just going to pour this in, add a little bit more of the pale pink, mix that up and pour that in to have a slightly lighter color. I wanted there to be very subtle swirls. So I'm just pouring in the last of this light pink. Just going to tap out air bubbles gently. And this is at Synergy Green mixed with the olive oil. I'm going to just drizzle this on top, kind of freehand. Sometimes I use pipettes instead, but I kind of like the look of this. Just doing it um, freehand for some of the tops of my soaps. So I'm just going to drizzle this around and then I will use a chopstick to swirl it. I really like the way this looks. It looks a little bit different than using the pipette to make straight lines. So here I'm just going to clean up the edges. And 
And here is the soap up close. I really like how the swirls came out. Because of all the salt in the soap, I was not able to wait a full day to cut it because it would become too hard. So this is only about three or four hours later. And as you can see, it's already firm enough to cut. And here's the first part. You can see the subtle pink drop swirl. It turned out really nice. I really like how this looks. And these are going to be really nice salt bars once they finish curing. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. These bars will be available July 1st as part of the Summer Nights collection. And these are the two end pieces that I cut up for samples. And here are some photos of the finished bars. And thank you for watching. You have a great day.